Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In previous project, we have created a multi-tabbed interface UI by using the Gradio Python library. In this video, we are going to the code which we have generated in the previous project and we are going to create a space at hugging face using the source code related to our project. It means the project which we have created using Gradio Python library and tested everything locally, we are going to take those source code files and create the exact same project at hugging phase. So it can be tested by anyone anywhere in the world as open source project. And if they would want first, they can take a look at the code. And if code is useful, they can actually download the code and utilize it, whatever they would want. So let's get ourselves started. So here we do have the Python application which is running on Python 3.10 built using the Gradio Python library and when this application is running the output is available at localhost port 7860. Here is the user experience of our application running localhost 7860. Here are various steps we have built within this application. Now we would like to host this application at hugging phase. Once this application is hosted at the hugging phase, it can be made available to whole world. Everybody can consume the application can also learn the code behind it, depending on how I would want to expose it to the world. Very first thing what you need, you need to have access to hugging phase, go to the hugging phase.co and register yourself depending on who you are, like I have personal account and I also have my channel base account, which is program. So I can use the program account based on program account. I will create a new space name, multi tabbed interface. That's the name of our space license. I can select any of whatever works for my requirement. I can make it Apache 2. Currently, our user interface is designed based on Gradio. So I will be selecting the Gradio as the main interface for this application. And I will keep this public so anybody could access it. The space is being created. As you could see, that ProdRamp multi-tabbed interface URL is created. Once the space has been created, there are some instructions available for us to follow if we would want to upload the files directly from our local machine to the hugging face spaces. However, there is another shortcut. If you have already created your project locally and which works and tested, you can actually upload the files directly through the hugging face space UI. Here files and version where we could upload those files directly by using this option. You can either create a new file and you can edit your code or we can upload directly. So we are going to upload these files from my local file systems upload file. These are the two files which we need to upload from my local file system to hugging face space. Let's use this one. We are uploading main pi. We can commit this update. Here is our main.py. Next upload the another file image process UI that is also updated. So these two files both main.py and image process UI they both are uploaded. Looking into the app, one thing I just wanted to make sure you understand is that the entry point for the hugging face space project has to be app.py. However, the project which we have created locally was using the main.py. So one option we have is to rename the main.py or we can create a new file named app.py and copy this content directly from here to app.py. So I will copy it. We can take a look one more time. It has to be lowercase app.py. Let's come back here, create a new file, paste all the content we had, and the file name will be app.py, and it would be added app.py. That's our comment while we are pushing this code. So now we have app.py, which is loading the image process UI class from this image process UI.py and we do not really need the main.py. We can select main.py and delete it. There you go. And that's how we have uploaded all the necessary files related to our project app.py. And as you see here, the project state is in building state right now. And because our project is really very simple, 
the Python libraries we are using in our product. Looking into here, you could see that we are using the NumPy, PIL and Gradio. So the external libraries used by our projects are quite few. Gradio, NumPy, Pill and we already created our project based on Gradio. So we already understand that Gradio dependency is already met. However, the NumPy and Pill, I also believe is that Hugging Face already has these very popular libraries already integrated. So we do not need to install anything new. Now, if you see here, while we were discussing our project, the status became running. It means our application, which we have just uploaded, is ready to run. Let's come back to app. And here you could see that our whole project, which was running locally like this way, has been up and running. I have dragged and dropped this image similar to here. And now we can test this whole application. We can load this image. Image is loaded. Now we can resize our image. It's working. We can grayscale our image. It's there. We can distribute this image into three separate RGB channels. That is also here, red, green and blue channels. We can add the alpha channel to our image. You can see the transparency is also working and it works as soon as we are moving our slider so that is also integrated properly and the last one the scratch pad is also integrated so if i write something here dog that's the dog and that image is integrated everywhere that's transparent dog channels and because this image does not have any channels that's why we do not see any red green and blue channels in this image for those who need to learn more about it, I would suggest you to please look the whole tutorial video to understand why there are no channels. Grayscale image is already grayscale. And finally, the resizer is also working. And this is the selector. But rather than selecting an image, we have actually created the image through the scratch pad. So you could see here that the project which we have created here locally, now it's available at Hugging Face Spaces. And this project is freely available for anybody to give a quick try. And that's all you really need in order to upload a project from your local file system to Hugging Face and make it as a space and make it publicly available to whole wide world. So you can see that how easy it is to create a space at Hugging Face and make it publicly available to whole wide world. Once again, thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it kindly and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, thank you so much.